Welcome. This is a 10 minute yoga class to help nourish the body and soul. It's just a feel good practice, really gentle that you can do any time of the day. We'll begin seated in any comfortable position that works for you and gently rocking side to side, just a gentle rocking motion. If this doesn't feel right, feel free to skip it. Know that each pose is optional. And maybe as you're moving, if this is what you're doing, you can just observe the body, observe what you're feeling as you're swaying side to side. Maybe you're feeling a little stretch in the lower back. Maybe setting an intention for the practice to be aware, to really use this time, this one practice to connect with self, to really feel your body in its present moment in the present state. We'll come to center and we'll begin to circle the neck. So just feeling out all the clicks and ticks here, releasing any tension in the back of the neck, the side of the neck. The front. We'll come back to center and just circling the waist. Once again, just feeling out all the clicks and ticks here. Observing as you're moving. We'll sit nice and tall, giving ourselves a big hug, crossing the right arm over the left. If you can't grab your shoulders, grab your, uh, the tops of the arms or even your forearms, whatever works today, everybody's going to be different. Every body is so unique and know that you are exactly where you need to be. Just taking some deep inhales here and as you exhale, doing your best to sigh out any tension in the shoulders and taking a moment here to completely surrender in the shoulders, softening the shoulders and maybe observing how this hug feels for many of us. It's our first hug that we've had in a long, long time. And for many of us, we have never hugged ourselves before giving ourselves some love, some gratitude for showing up to the mat and for doing this for ourselves to give ourselves this time of self-care. You are worth it. You are worth this time and this effort. And we'll gently release. We'll switch arms. So just crossing the left arm over the right, giving yourself a big hug here. And again, just observing the body and maybe this time as you're hugging yourself, just acknowledging how strong, how incredible and beautiful and unique your body is, your vessel. This vessel takes you throughout your entire day. It takes you throughout this entire yoga practice. You are so capable of so much. And I think that that is something to continuously celebrate every single day. And we'll release. Take a moment, shake it out. And whenever you're ready, we'll come into a child's pose, sending the hips towards the heels, 
forehead or cheek to the mat. You can reach the hands forward or you can reach the hands back towards your feet, whatever works today. Of course, you always have the option to modify placing pillows between the hips and heels and underneath the torso for added height and support. Utilizing your inhales to create space and using your exhales to soften the upper back, the shoulders, the arms, the lower back, the hips. And again, throughout each pose, really just being present, feeling the body in its present state. And we'll gently release, coming into a tabletop pose, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. We'll inhale, dropping the belly, take your gaze up. Exhale, rounding through the spine, take your gaze down. We'll continue sinking breath with movement. Perfect. We'll go ahead, come to a neutral spine, tucking the toes and sending the hips towards the heels. You can lean forward. You can even lift the hips off the heels if it's too intense, or you can come to sit all the way up. Just getting into the feet. If this does feel a bit intense, make sure the big toes are touching, knees are together, spacing apart your toes. You can always skip it if it really isn't working today. And whenever you're ready, we'll press into the hands, slowly rounding all the way up to standing, using a bit of your strength here. All the way up. Perfect. We'll inhale the hands up overhead. Exhale, fold, option to bend the knees. We'll grab opposite elbows here, coming into a rag doll pose. Maybe swaying side to side, bending the knees and really allowing the knees to support your torso. Bend the knees as much as you need. Yoga looks different on everybody. And that is the best part of the practice because we can get exactly what we need when we listen to the body and we honor the body and acknowledge that we are exactly where we need to be today. We'll slowly round all the way down to our seat coming onto our backs. We'll plant the feet on the mat and allow the knees to fall open, bottoms of feet to touch for a supine butterfly pose. Option here to place pillows underneath the knees for added height and support. Softening the mid back and the lower back with each exhale. Softening the knees, the legs, the ankles and the feet.
We'll go ahead and lift the knees, straightening the left leg. And actually, you can cross both knees over towards the left, or you can straighten that left leg and then just crossing the right knee over. Option again to modify wherever, whatever variation you choose. You can place pillows between the knees or under the knees, and for less of a twist, you can place a pillow underneath the right shoulder. And once again, same thing here, utilizing your inhales to really create that space. Feeling, again, being present here, feeling the breath creating that space. Feel how the breath maybe creates a gentle stretch within the chest, maybe within the belly. Maybe you feel it in the lower back. And as you exhale, just allow the body to completely let go here, softening the shoulders, just be heavy, even if it's just for a moment. We'll go ahead and release, switching sides, whatever variation feels best for you. Option to modify. We'll gently lift the knees, rocking the knees side to side, rolling over the glutes, the sacrum, the low back. We'll hug the knees in towards the chest, grabbing the outer edges of the feet, bottoms of feet to touch. You can gently rock side to side if that feels okay. And then we'll give ourselves one last hug here, and then we'll take the feet to the bottom of the mat. Hands to your sides, palms facing up, preparing for Shavasana. We'll take a quick moment today, soaking in all the work we just did. A moment where we're not doing anything, because we deserve this time, this time on the mat. Know that you are worthy of this time for self-care. And this space is here for you anytime that you need. We'll rest here a few more moments. We'll gently begin to wake up the body, wiggling the fingers and toes, rocking the head side to side. We'll roll over towards our right, take a full inhale, and exhale. We'll gently come to seated. Inhaling the hands up overhead, Exhale, heart center. Thank you for joining. Namaste. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it below, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on future videos and live streams.